I'm going to have some of you come up and help out with some decisions right now. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, how about you and you and you and you? Stay right at your seats for right now. Just do me a favor. Uh, while you're still at your seats, just kind of look me in the eyes just for a few moments here. Okay, no, it's not easy. I, I understand. <laughs> okay, same with you. Okay, and you? Okay, and now you. Okay. Okay, you know what? You, just one more time. Just one more time. Okay, what I'm going to have you folks do is I'm going to have the four of you stand up. And I'm going to have you come up and sit in these four chairs. Now, before you come up, you can sit in the same basic sequence that you are now. You can rearrange yourself in any sequence that you want. It's just important that I get a chance to sort of step off to the side and watch you come up and sit down. I have to observe your actions as you're coming up. That's going to be the important thing. So sit wherever you want, though, in any one of these four seats. Okay? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, that was very interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> We're going to use the contents of this small pouch for what we're about to try. There's five things in here. I'm going to show you what four of them are right now. They're small little balls of paper. There's one that's yellow, one that's red, one that's pink, and one that's green. Would you do me a favor? Would you hold on to this and just kind of keep it folded over for now? There's one thing left in there. I'm going to place this here. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's grab this little folder. We can use this and help out, make it a little bit easier for everybody else. I'm going to place these up here on the table. I want the four of you to each come up and take a ball of paper. You're going to do it behind the cover of this folder so that no one sees what, which one you're taking, especially me, but no one else here either, okay? When you take the ball of paper, I want you to keep it cupped in your hand, and then I want you to return to your seat. If you decide to go to the same seat again, that's fine. If you choose to trade seats with someone else or move to another, another chair, that's fine too, okay? Do me a favor. I'm going to cover this up. Just let that stand right there. Mix those around a little bit if you want. I'll go over here and get out of the way. <laughs> Each one of you take one ball of paper, cup it in your hands, and just return to your seat. And when you're all placed back in your seats, let me know. Okay. Everyone's settled? Okay. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Let me explain a little bit of what we're trying to do. We're working with four individuals. We're working with four different colors. We're working with four different chairs. This is chair number one, chair number two, chair number three, chair number four. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually work with one of you and get you to work with what I'm going to call the target color. Now, I didn't tell you what the target color was at the very beginning because I didn't want any one of you to feel influenced in any way, shape, or form. But one of you is going to be, be hopefully drawn to that target color. So that's that means I'm going to be controlling the actions and thoughts of one person. But think about that. I have three other people up here to work with also, which means I have to actually be controlling their actions as well so that they don't get in the way of what my plan is at this point. <laughs> so let's see how well we did. I want you just to all relax a little bit because our goal is to take that one target color and isolate it from the other three completely. That's our goal. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you some instructions. When you hear the instructions, they're very simple. Just follow those instructions. This is chair number one, chair number two, number three, number four. Chair number two, stand up. Show everybody what color you have. Now, chair number one, stand up. Show everybody what color you have. Chair number four, stand up. Show everybody what color you have. And chair number three, stand up. Show everybody what color you have. Now we have, everyone has a different color. You chose red, you chose pink, you chose yellow, and you chose green. I said there were five things inside that pouch, correct? Inside here is our target color. For the first time, let me show you what it is. Nothing else there, correct? It's red. I've been trying to control the actions of one person and one person only. Let me show you something unusual here. In a very loud voice, will you read out what it says on that piece of paper? 
the person holding the red ball is seated in chair number one. Wow. Chair number one. <laughs> you guys did a great job. Thanks very much. And I'll return to your seats. Just throw it on the floor. Thanks. Thank you. We're going to try. We're going to try a rather unusual experiment now with uh, with a number of you once again, and it's going to talk about something that we've already talked about. We're going to go a little bit further in trying to explain it. But before we get too detailed, do me a favor. Would you hold on to these for me? Just leave them face down in your lap for right now. And I'm going to have several of you come forward and stand on some targets that we've marked around the front uh, here in right there and there and two back here in the ends of the carpet. So what I need you to do is be careful. Don't step right on the targets because they're laminated. You may slip and fall, so be very careful. <laughs> we don't want that. But what I do want you to do is go to any one of the targets that you want because I just kind of need to have you folks separated for right now. So be, would you be willing to help out? Do me a favor, go stand at any one of the targets. Uh, would you be willing to help out again? Sure. Any one of the targets that you want? And uh, would you be willing to help out? Any one of the targets that you want? You want that one back there? And would you be willing to help out for the last target? You can just stand right there. Okay. We'll kind of come central here. Now, what we have is a series of poker chips up here on the table. There are six poker chips. Each one is wrapped in aluminum foil so that you can't really see what's inside for right now. That's going to be rather important. Okay? We'll just sort of start and kind of work our way around. It's probably the easiest. We're going to number them number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll start back here nearest me, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Would you do me a favor? Just tell me number one, two, three, four, five, or six. Four. four. Number four, this one here. Okay. Number four. Open that up and you get a blue poker chip. So if you would just hold on to that. Okay. And uh, we'll just kind of work around. Which one would you like? Three. Number three, this one over here. And let's see what you have. Looks like you also get a blue poker chip, so I'll let you have that one. Uh, we'll work our way around to you. You have one, two, four, and five, it looks like. It's six. Or, I'm sorry, five and six. I'm sorry. You want number six? Okay. I'm, I'm always careful with you. I don't trust you all the time. Six, okay. six, six. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? And uh, get that one stuck there. There we go. Ah, you get a red poker chip. Okay, there you go. You get a red one. And that leaves one, two, and the one down here. Which one would you like? Number one. You like number one? Okay. Now, this is going to leave two poker chips on the table, which, in essence, then, that gives you a blue one also. Okay? That leaves two on the table, and these two here are basically going to be for you and I. Okay, these are going to be the ones that we're going to utilize. So we'll start here with this one. And there we go. That's a red one. And this one here is a red one. Okay, now let me explain what we started with. You can tell mathematically we had six poker chips to begin. There were three blue, there were three red. You folks were able to choose whichever ones you wanted and leave two up here for us. Okay? Well, here's the thing I want to mention. We talked a little bit before about trying to control people's thoughts and their actions. That's what we're working with now, but in a much more elaborate fashion. Because I'm trying my best to control your thoughts and your actions, all four of you. Now, you were holding those signs from the very beginning. The very first sign, would you just kind of slide that off and hand that to me? The very first one says, there will be two red chips remaining on the table. Whoa. Now, I think we're off to a good start. Let's see where we go from here. What's the next sign that you have say? This one says, now, uh, the first person will select a blue chip. Now, you went first, right? You have a blue chip? Yeah. I think we're moving in the right direction here. What's the next one say? The next sign, the next sign says, the second person will also select a blue chip. You were second? That, was that sounds good. I was thinking about the other one, and you make me change my mind. There you go. That's my job. That's my job. What does the next sign say? The next sign says the third person will select a red chip. And what do you have? You have a red chip. There's one sign left, just one sign left. Let's take a look at this. The last sign says the fourth person will select a blue chip. We're correct with that one? Looks like you guys did a great job. Oh, you know what? Oh, hold on, hold on. 
I just thought of something. I just thought of something. You know, I told you when you first came up here that you could stand at any one of the targets that you wanted, correct? Yeah. The three of you that are holding blue chips, could you bend over and pick up the targets that you stood at? What does yours say? Yours says blue chip. Yours says blue chip. Yours, you had the only red chip? Bend over and pick up the target that you went to. That one says red chip. You guys did great. Nicely done, everybody. Appreciate it. Nicely done. Good job. Good job. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks.